Maybe your design incorporates a circle that spins like this or like this. How do you do that? Well, one of the best ways is to use a motor, but also instead of attaching the motor directly to your disc, you can use um, a pulley wheel instead. The advantage is that it doesn't go as quickly, um, it goes more slowly and is more in control, um, and it has a little bit more force, so it can turn more weight, it has more torque. So this is how you build such a thing. To start with, you'll want to work on the structure of the thing you're building. So if your disc is spinning this way, in a vertical way, you maybe want to build a structure that looks something like um, a wheel and axle system that would hold up a, um, this wheel, like a ferris wheel maybe. So you want to attach this in a way that's pretty secure. So I would hot glue those down and then you're going to need to use an axle. I use a skewer like this. You need to find the center of your disc the best way to do that is to measure the widest point. Mine's about 11 and a half centimeters, mark it, and then the other way across. So that's the center, central point here. So if you did want to attach the motor directly to it, it's best to use something like a fan like this propeller fan, so push that onto the motor as hard as you can and then figure out how to fasten that to the disc because that will give you a greater surface area than just um, if you just stick the axle in. That will be a small surface area and you'll have problems with it later on. But anyway, I'm going to show you how to use the pulley system. So push your axle through the center hole um, build your structure. You'll need to make holes here too and you actually should measure and do this very carefully which I'm not doing right now because if this is not all perfectly aligned it's going to give you problems later on. So here's the basic principle and you need to really work on making this structure much more steady and stable. Mine is not at all and that will be a problem. So figure out ways to support this so it's very sturdy and stable. So there is your wheel and axle system and I can spin it and move it around. So what you're going to want to do is put the pulley wheel onto, let's see which end it will fit on, onto the axle. So the pulley wheel is on the axle And when that pulley wheel is driven around, it drives around the center wheel. So it's transferring the spinning motion. Then you get one of these small pulley wheels. They have gear teeth on them too, but we're going to use the pulley wheel part of it and push it onto your motor. And then this special pulley band links the motor with the bigger pulley wheel on your structure. Let me turn that around so you can see it. There we go. So when the motor spins that moves the pulley wheel and um, moves the axle and moves your bigger disc around. So to build this of course, you need to have everything steady, secure, and lined up. When you attach the motor, you're probably going to have to build a little tower for it to sit on, and you have to figure out the exact height. I've seen people do this with corks or with foam board, but they've built a platform that the motor sits on top of. It's important that the pulley band is exactly aligned, so if it's slightly off, yeah, I'm exaggerating, I'm making it very off, then the pulley band will come off. So it needs to be perfectly aligned 
with both wheels and it also needs to be about the right tension. So you should test it a few times before you hot glue your motor in place. And remember, make sure everything's lined up properly. You want to reduce friction inside here so that it spins really smoothly. I've seen students even put a straw inside this hole and a straw inside this hole so it spins very cleanly with little friction. And that means that the whole thing works better. And then this whole structure also needs to be really steady. So that's how you do it. And that's in the um, vertical alignment. Of course, there's no reason why you can't do the whole thing horizontally if you need the wheel to spin. Um, in this plane, you can also do the whole thing horizontally. The motor would sit in a different position. The motor would sit upwards but it would still spin the same polyband. You would just move the entire thing into, into this position and your structure would look different. But then the disc would spin um, horizontally.